It was the first year of the Peter McGowan-led ownership group that saved the team from relocating to Florida and kept Giants baseball right here in San Francisco. Please welcome the home run king, number 25, Barry Bonds. The 93 Giants would go on to win 103 regular season games, but missed out on the postseason. On the hill tonight for the Giants will be the veteran right-hander, Alex Cobb. His 3-3-0 ERA is currently fifth best in the National League. Here's Corey Seager, left-handed batter. On the right, he's 2-1 pitch, and Seager hits it hard. Deep out to center field, Slater back near the wall, gone! A home run for Corey Seager, and the Rangers strike early tonight in San Francisco. Corey now 10 home runs, 17 runs batted in over his last 19 games. Andrew Heaney takes a 1-0 Texas lead to the mound. You know, he's working on a career-best string of 15 and two-thirds consecutive scoreless innings. Hasn't given up a run in his last two starts. Heaney's first pitch. That ball's hammered out to right field, but right there, Ford Garcia won away. From golfed high in the air. Down the left field line into the shadows and J.P. Martinez. In just his second big league game, he makes the catch. And the Rangers this year have thrown nine shutouts. The last three have all been started by Andrew Heaney. There are two outs and Wilmer Flores is the batter. Hammered into the gap and nobody's there. Martinez will pick it up on the track and Wilmer Flores has got a double. And that's the first hit in the game for the Giants. Here's Bailey. Line drive. Base hit. I don't think you can score, Wilmer. They're going to try. Here's the throw. And he's going to make it. And this game is tied. They had a shot. And Bailey ends up at second. Take a look at the short hop. Garber, the catcher, tried to come up and short hop this thing and make a play. A lot going on. And right here, the Giants catch a break. That's the end of Heaney's scoreless string. And that one is hit hard to short. Seeger's got it on a second skidding hop. And uh, throws over to first to complete the inning, but the Giants tie it up. Inning number two, last half, the Giants in a 1 1 tie. Luis Matos leads off. Matos will take the walk. Here now is Michael Conforto. Line drive. And it's fair. And Matos is on the move. Conforto is going to have to put on the brakes. As I'll tell you what, Garcia just threw a bullet in the second. But over to third base goes Machos and the Giants have first and third with nobody out now uh, Elliot Ramos there's a ball down and in to Ramos ball four and now the bases are loaded Boach coming out to take the baseball from Andrew Heaney after the strikeout of Matthias there must be a little something else going on that we are not aware of that's that's intriguing right there Wow a short night for Andrew Heaney Base is loaded, but one out now. And here is the right-hander, Anderson, throwing. Slater, who hit a fly ball and one pitch to right field in the first. Here's a 3-2, and a bouncer first base. Low goes to second one. The relay to first. Game! Double play! And that's the inning. What a job by Grant Anderson to get the twin killing and get the Rangers out of a huge jam. Alex Cobb back to work. Nathaniel Lowe in the top of the fourth. A 1-1 tie. Giants and the Rangers here. That ball smacked right up the middle. That's a base hit. Adolis Garcia is next. He had a comebacker to end the first. Adolis with a 19-game on base streak. Roller in third base. Could be a tough play. Davis charges. Throws. Not in time. And Garcia legs out an infield hit. Here's Mitch Garver. And Mitch hits this one off the middle. That's a base hit. Low being waved around third. Here comes the throw. It's cut off near the mountain. No, it's not. They allow it through. But everybody stays at one base. It's an RBI single for Garver. And the Rangers retake the lead. It's 2-1. to one. A Three ground ball base hits in this inning for the Rangers. Consecutive at that for Mitch Garver. But he's swinging. And he lines that one into left field. That's a base hit. Garcia to third. Bases are loaded, and there's the first big league hit for J.P. Martinez. Adolis at third, Garver at second, Martinez at first. Here's the pitch, and that's hit in the air to center field. Medium deep, Slater coming on, makes the catch, tagging at third, and coming home is Adolis, and the throw goes towards third base. So it's a sacrifice fly for Zeke, and a 3-1 to one Rangers lead. Bases loaded, one out. Tavares, the night place hitter. In this case, the Rangers have already scored two runs, but you would love to see another hit here. Catch in a few more, and that ball's hit out to right field. It drops in, base hit. Garver's in. They stop Martinez. It's an RBI single for Tavares. 
Three runs across in the inning, and the Rangers up four to one. And it's the fifth hit of the inning for Texas. And Patrick Bailey's going to visit again. Cobb, bases still loaded, still only one out. Now you get the best hitters coming up. And Simeon, ground ball to short, not hit that hard. Tyro has it to second one, throw to first. Got him double play. The Giants get the double play ground ball and at least stop the bleeding there. The Texas four and the Giants one. Yeah. Comes Michael Conforto, who singled to right his first time up. And he hits a high towering drive. It is out of here. Long time coming for Michael Conforto, and that's great to see. Four to two Rangers. Two men on, one man out. Here's Garber. That's hit in the air to center field. Coming on for it is Slater, and it drops in front for a base hit. And the Rangers have him loaded again, this time with one out for J.P. Martinez. Wood takes over, bases loaded. No, Martinez got his first big league hit in the fourth inning. Lifts this one out into left field. Coming across from center field is Slater. He'll make the catch. Seeger tags. He scores. And it's the first RBI for J.P. Martinez. It's 5-2 to two, Texas. Couple men out there for Ezekiel Duran, and he hits this one out over short. That drops in for a base hit. They'll go ahead and wave Garcia. Here comes the throw from Matos, and it's cut off. Rangers add another run, and it's six to two. What a night for Ezek. <laughs> a double, a single, a sacrifice fly. Go to the ninth. Marcus Simeon leads off, and it's hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for Peterson. He's in there now. He dives. He can't get it. It's in there for a base hit, and it bounds away from him. Simeon turning at second. He goes to third, and he stands there with a triple. What a way to extend the streak. Chance for Corey Seager to get him home. Seager has scored twice today, driven in a run. From the 0-2, that one lined over second, a base hit. Semyon scores easily. It's seven to two. And the great night for Corey Seager continues. So that's one out, and Garber's coming up. This one lined out to right. That could be trouble. It gets down and bangs up against the wall. Two runs will score on the long single by Garber, and the Rangers lead nine to two. Nine to two Rangers. There's Ramos. There's a swing. There's a shot. Deep left center field. Way back there. Adios. Pelota. That's the first career home run for Ramos. Good for him. Two away. Oh, two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And Burke gets it done in the ninth. The Rangers take game two in San Francisco and have notched their 70th win of the year already.